Hey guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival. Got uh, got a special treat for you. Special because one, this is very often overlooked. Two, most people see it all the time, don't realize it's inedible. And three, being colorblind. I don't actually do a lot of wild mushrooms. <clears throat> there are, there's a lot of mushrooms out there that can make you very, very, very sick or possibly could kill you. And I don't want to be responsible for somebody having a situation like that. So I don't really do a lot of mushroom videos. Um, for the most part, I don't eat a lot of wild mushrooms unless somebody I know who can identify them properly um, is there with me. So, it's, it's not a good idea to just run around taste testing willy-nilly, trust me, that one. However, this one, this one is almost idiot proof. Now it has a few lookalikes. It, it does. <laughs> but, if that lookalike looks uh, like a, a, about as thick and tasty as uh, like a sheet of wet cardboard, throw it away. But if it looks nice and meaty and thick and, and tasty, um, Dryad Saddle, also known as Pheasant Back. Now, this one, this one is very, very light compared to most of the ones that you'll see. Um, it doesn't have a lot of darker brown, and that is unusual. So, hmm. Try to describe the smell. So it's, I mean, you know, it's, it smells like a mushroom, but it also has kind of a slight tang to it. Kind of almost citrus, almost, almost. And it actually does have a slight lemony taste to it. Which, uh, which is partially, it's, it's really good with fish. Partially what makes it so tasty is it's, it's kind of lemony, but it's kind of mushroomy. I don't really know how to, how else to describe it. There's 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 there's, uh, there's something familiar about the scent that I can't quite put my finger on, and I've said that pretty much every time I've picked up one of these things. Um, yeah, I, you're, you're you're just gonna have to check it out yourself, and if if anybody figures it out, let me know in the comments because it's been driving me nuts for a long time. Uh, okay, anyway, so this one here is actually kind of big. Uh, for what you would normally want to choose, um, they're a fairly they're fairly easy to find in around May June, and the younger and earlier you get them, the more edible they are, the better they are. They eventually do get kind of woody, kind of tasty. Hey, hey. Hello, puppy. How you doing? Hello. Hello there. 
She's a little wet. She's a little wet. <laughs> no problem at all. Normally when I come to video in this area, I get at least one dog visitor and that's part of the reason why I like to come to this area. It's it's always <laughs> nice to meet the local dogs. So Okay, now I saw some other ones. Let's move around and I'll, I'll show you uh, something else while I talk about this. Now we do have some smaller ones here. And these are a little more typical for what you're going to find. See, so they're they're much more mottled and brown than that first one. Now, at first glance, I thought they were kind of mushy and kind of not good. They're actually just a little bit dried out. But all in all, they're really not all that bad. They're not all that bad at all. So they'll probably be more edible than the, uh, than the first one that I picked, in all honesty. You want to be mindful about harvesting Dryad saddle or pheasant back that is mushy or like this one on the bottom here has some other kind of odd fungal residue almost like a, a white mold you don't want anything like that and then the the, the darker molded kind of can you guys see that yeah you can see that okay so yeah you don't want that you want it relatively clean and uh, thick and meaty but not um, uh, not mushy not moldy not any of that grossness by now some of you might be asking can you eat it raw do you have to cook it well that kind of depends if you get it nice and young then yeah um, but the older and bigger it gets the woodier it gets and eventually especially past maybe mid-June they're so woody you probably don't want to eat them at all I mean maybe you could sort of bring them back if you put them in a soup and cooked them for a really long time but I don't know I've never tried that so Yeah, see? It's beginning of June, and even this small one is getting very woody. So, also, remember to wash them first. <laughs> Definitely want to wash them. Um, Yeah, that's super woody, especially for such a small one. That's, uh, wow. Huh. Very, very, very woody. So, it's already getting kind of late. 
to uh, to try to eat these raw at least cooked it's probably going to be a little bit better oh see you later now honestly even even uh, as woody as it is the taste was not unpleasant it was just very very difficult to actually eat so let's see we'll just we'll skin a little bit just cut a little piece here Nope. Nope, that's that's it's literally it tastes okay, but it's literally like eating wood fiber now. So that's uh that's a shame. That's a real shame. I, I didn't get out here soon enough to uh actually be able to get some of this. Well it was still edible. Now, like I say, you might be able to soup this if you cook it for a really, really, really long time. You might be able to bring it back to life. I don't know. But, the only time, only time you can eat these things raw is uh, when they're very, very young. Darn. But, uh, yeah. Dryad saddle. It's it's almost an idiot proof wild fungal mushroom kind of you know whatever. And uh, I don't think it has any toxic lookalikes, but it has some that are kind of look alike that. Uh, they're not necessarily going to really make you sick sick, but they might ups upset your stomach or your GI tract or whatever. Um, but, like I say, they're, they're usually very, very thin, dry, cardboard-like. So, they're... Once you kind of know what you're looking for, it's easy to know that's not what you're looking for. Um, on only a true novice is going to make that mistake. And probably won't make that mistake more than once or twice anyway. So, that pretty much is that. That's that's Dryad Saddle, uh, also known as Pheasant Back. I didn't get out here early enough to get any that's edible, though, unfortunately. So, we'll see you guys in the next video, and hope you're having a great day.